Hello guys, this is Pavel Skorup from Laravel Daily Team. Apologize for my shaky voice uh, today, this morning for some reason. Uh, another casual video about project management, uh, about being a developer, be being a freelancer and stuff like that. This time not from my car, my previous few videos were from my car, this time from the office. Uh, today I want to talk about documenting the the things that you agreed on. Quite often I see the problem that uh, during the project a lot of conversations are happening in Slack, on the phone, on Skype, in some chat like Upwork and uh, often you have to get back to the decisions you made a month ago or two months ago and no one remembers it. Uh, even within my team uh, recently we had, a, we had a few kind of issues or, or cases where even myself I don't remember why I made some decision why I made a decision to refactor some code uh, and I remember I did make it for some reason but I didn't remember the reason. So that was pretty funny, we had to dig in the logs of all the chats and then brainstorm on what was actually the decision and it's happening quite often. So and same with clients, if you agreed, especially actually with the clients, if you agreed on something with client then there should be some point of reference, some documents, some, uh, I don't know, Trello card, whatever you use for project management, it should be documented. And for that, I have my overall tip for the day, is after every Skype call, chat, uh, every, like, chat in Slack or wherever, document the summary. So just a few points, a few bullet points here and there, uh, what was discussed, what was uh, decided, and who does what after that. So every meeting, actually same thing, uh, when you have a meeting, if the meeting doesn't have a result of uh, who does what next, then it's pointless meeting. So, <coughs> excuse me. so to avoid that, I encourage you and I advise you to document. It takes only five minutes or so afterwards but then it saves a huge amount of time uh, after a month or two when you have to remember what was decided why and who is responsible for what. So just a quick short video from Laravel Daily team and myself and see you next time.